Okay, so this is just uh, my perspective of the four-way discussion that was had earlier on, which this is a video response to, hopefully it'll be accepted. Uh, it's just to give my perspective on some of the points that were brought up during the discussion. So I'm not exactly sure where I'll start with on this, but I'll just I'll read through the notes that I took on that discussion and I'll see what happens. Uh, well, first of all, the one that I've got, the first part of it here is that there was no midnight sales. Now, I can't, for me, I can't actually comment on how it was in the States when it was launched. I live in Scotland, there was midnight launches. Uh, I didn't make it to one, but the midnight launch and the midnight sales over here, they were available. I'm not sure about the States. Maybe they, not in the areas where those four were living, might have been some out with the extra areas but from where they are saying that they were there was no midnight sales or there was no one lining up or something like that they might not have seen it, it might have happened somewhere else there's 50 maybe 51 states with Puerto Rico I don't know how that's coming along uh, but I'm not exactly sure about this uh, something's happening with my Xbox probably been idle uh, anyway uh, next, uh, the PlayStation 360 supply restraints. Can't exactly remember what I took that note for. Might have been about the launch, how they were sold out or something like that. I've been disconnected from Xbox Live. That's weird. Anyway, uh, I have a video earlier that was put up in response to someone else. It was just showing how, like, while it those two systems would have been sold out elsewhere. They weren't sold out everywhere due to numbers from the NPD and statements released by Sony and Microsoft. I didn't want to bring this up in this video, but it was in the other video as well, so I'm going to just address the points I think were the most important here. Uh, also, with the sales, that's something that's... Sometimes it's important, sometimes it isn't, so I'm just going to try and merge it all in and... I'll give my perspective throughout the video as I'm going through it. Uh, okay. With the sales, I'd say maybe the... Because the Nintendo this time round haven't really marketed as well as they should have, I think that has really impacted the sales that they've had, especially when they're going up against the seven, eight-year-old tech, well, it's still seven, not eight-year-old till later on in the year, seven-year-old tech that is the Xbox 360 and the six-year-old tech which is the PlayStation 3. Now, these have a higher install base, more people talk about them and they're advertised pretty regularly, at least where I am anyway. Every time there's an advertisement on the TV, this every second or third one will be about the, an Xbox or a PlayStation. Um, the Wii U voice chat, now it does exist, it's Nintendo themselves have said that it's up to the developers of the games if they want to put them into their games or not, so you can't really say that's a Nintendo thing, that's just, they've put it into the system, they've just not made it a requirement for it to be system wide. Uh, they've seen that there was no Wii U videos about reviews and gameplay, there is quite a few if you look beyond the likes of Shokyo and Dr. Trey and whomever else you want to watch that are very vocal within the gaming community on YouTube. Um, another thing about the sales where they mentioned how uh, the sales don't matter for December, but there is videos of people who are saying that the Wii U wasn't selling very well in November. And then in December, they're saying that the sales don't matter. Now, it seems rather contradictory to me that one month it's not selling very well. When it's not doesn't sell as well as what it could have done, the sales really matter. But then when it sells over 1 million and whatever consoles in the space of a month, the sales suddenly don't matter again. It's just it's a little contradictory to, to me. Um, the launch lineup of games, uh, now that can be, that's just based down to opinion. Uh, for me, once the games for my Wii U were released, uh, 
the ones that I was available that was available to me on my Wii U. Once I had them and played them, I actually gave away my copies of the games that I had for my Xbox and my PlayStation Three. Uh, so now I've only got them on my Wii U because to me they run a bit better. Uh, there is people that say that the PlayStation Three had a weak launch as well. No, a weak lineup of games at lunch. Uh, well, I didn't really think that. I felt some of the games could have been done better, and some of them couldn't have could have been. I don't know. Could have showed off the system more than what it did. But really, all those games done were show that it was on par with the Xbox 360 at the time. If you look back now to now, what we're getting on the PlayStation 3, you can see that there's been a very big jump from what they had. Um, and also most of the third party games that I have were released in 2012 whereas people are saying that they were released um, a year before. Okay. Uh, also what they're saying is that the, the Wii U won't be getting many third party games in 2013. Uh, oh, I've only got really one thing I can say to that. During, well, and it has to go back to the PlayStation 3 launch again, I'm sorry about that, but it seemed relevant to me because it teaches you something about the developers and how they act in certain times, really. Uh, there were a lot of developers that come out saying that the games that are currently in development for the Xbox 360 upon launch will not be made available and there is no plans to make available for the PlayStation 3. The biggest game you can find this with is Bioshock, which did re eventually release on the PlayStation 3 one year after it launched on the Xbox 360. Now developers have a, a, long, light, a long history of keeping things secret, especially when a new console is released. Uh, if we take that history and put it forward we can use it to say, okay, then maybe these games will release, but maybe they might not. There's a there's a fine line between what will happen. We just need to wait and see about that. Um, I'm saying about the COD sales were low compared to the... Uh, I'm not sure. COD, for me, I don't really play it. I do have it. I don't play it very often because um, I prefer to play Battlefield 3, which is why my Xbox is on just now. And I need to connect that back up and oh, my controller's dead as well, that's my problem. Uh, someone did say that the PlayStation 3 and the Wii U launch lineup sucked. That was the first person to make sense in the video, for me anyway. Um, okay, they say that the games that are on the Wii U run significantly worse than what they do on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. This is because the games aren't really optimised. I'm going to leave a link to a book that I have. It's when I, my first year of university when I was doing computer games development, I read this book. It really helped me out. So I'm just going to leave this so that people can have a look at it and see what to, maybe try and read it, acquire it. I'm not saying, just acquire it somehow and have a read through it and see what it says. It might open your eyes, it might not. Okay, but uh, they're saying how the low clock speed of the CPU is directly affecting the power of it. Now, clock speed doesn't really affect the actual power of the CPU. Uh, if you look at the system as a whole and the architecture that it has, it can actually work faster than what the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 does at the moment. Uh, it just, no one is taking advantage of what the CPU can do as a system-wide component instead of just a singular component. Uh, I've already mentioned that. Uh, there's a invite system as well. Now, certain games on it do have an invite system. Look, the ones that I've been using it on, what I've been playing mainly is Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, now, I'm not sure about the other games. I know Call of Duty has it as well. But uh, there is plans for Nintendo to bring a system-wide invite system. I'm not sure when that will be arriving or if it will be arriving anytime soon, but apparently it's in the works. Okay, uh, The Wii U is referred to as a kid system. This is something that goes back all the way to the, the SNES when it first started with Mortal Kombat. Or, yeah, Mortal Kombat. 
uh, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold, sorry. Uh, when the blood was removed from it, and ever since then they've had the stigma of being a kids brand. Oh, now to me it's not really a kids brand or a kids console. Yes, there's kids games on it, but there's kids games on every single console out there. There's even kids games on the PC. You don't hear about them much because they're usually given out with some other advertising crap. Um. Let's see what else I have here. I've said how it doesn't really get it hasn't been advertised much. I've said that already. Oh yeah, here's something here about why it might not have been advertised as much as it's really Nintendo's fault because I think they were going they were going off the success of the Wii too much and how they thought okay people will know about it because they they've sold so many Nintendo Wii's. So maybe we'll just get lucky with it and not have to do much advertising. Well, they were wrong on that, so that is their fault. Uh, they say how the task force hasn't put up any videos yet. Um, well, they might just be playing the system. They might be enjoying their games. Uh, there's really not much I can say in that because there is... Well, you say the task force, I know the main people that are being referred to here but there is a lot of other people. I'll leave some links to some of the people that I'm subscribed to on both of my channels and just to let you see how many videos, reviews and gameplays there actually is. There's actually a good one up for Ninja Gaiden which is almost one hour long. Uh, it's, I think it's called Back of the Box Reviews. I can't remember the exact name of it. I'll try and find it, put the link up to it. It's a really good review and the gameplay on it is really good as well. Um, People are saying that how it's being outsold by the older consoles. This isn't really something new. When the Xbox 360 was first released, it was still being outsold by the PlayStation 2 and the, the original Xbox. And then when the PlayStation 3 was released, that was also outsold by the PlayStation 2 as, uh, and quite possibly the GameCube. I need to research that one a little bit more. Now, that we can't really say that this is anything different anyway. Uh, the Wii U, it was still outsold by the 7th gen consoles. It is an 8th generation console, it's something new, so... I know people will say it's not because based on whatever their opinion states why it's not a new 8th generation console. Um, but yeah, the newer consoles are always outsold by the previous generation until more people know about them or have the money for them. Or basically just some people just wait until they actually get them the, the marketing thing this also can come into, into play for this because as I've said the Xbox and the PlayStation are advertised heavily I think I've seen since November 30th 2012 when it was released over here in Scotland I think I've seen two advertisements for the Wii U on television and I watch my television quite a lot uh, what else is there? I've said about how the okay. They said about how the Xbox 360 and PSD was sold out. Now that's true and it's false at the same time. Now the NPD shows numbers that are below the amount which was shipped out by Sony and Microsoft. So maybe they were sold out where these people were living. I know for me. The PlayStation 3 was sold out week one, uh, and then on I think it was the fifth day of after its release, I got my I got my PlayStation 3, but I got it pre-owned. Uh, if I waited two more days, I'd have got a brand new one, and or if I'd went 14 miles to the east, which is that way, I'd have been able to get one. If I'd went 20 miles to the north, I'd have got one. Uh, 30 miles south and. Uh, 30 something miles west I'd have been able to buy brand new consoles day one because they weren't sold out everywhere they were sold out in certain areas but not everywhere um, I've said oh yeah there's something else um, people are saying that there's a lot of them still on shelves and quite a lot of them are being returned now I'll start with the returns first 
There would have been a lot of Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 returns during their launch months also. Now the only reason we're hearing about the Wii U returns is because of the software that's remaining on it and the software that you can download from the previous owner's uh, account that they already bought. Uh, if this was the same on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, we'd have heard a lot more about the returns from them also. And about the one, the brand new Wii U's that are still on the shelf, if you think about how well the Wii sold and how they weren't able to actually supply everything, that this might happen with the Xbox 720 or the Xbox 8, whatever it's been called, and the PlayStation 4. This might happen with them as well because in certain areas they were hard to find. Not everywhere, certain areas. Uh, Maybe Nintendo have just thought, okay, we're going to produce these a lot faster than what we have done with the Wii, so that we can get the console out to more people and get it out so that it's always available instead of having to wait several weeks, months, whatever it was. Uh, for me, over here in Scotland, when the Wii was released, it was sold out for two weeks, then you could get one, and then it was sold out again for another two weeks. Um, but with the PlayStation 4 and the X, the next Xbox, I think we'll have the same problem where they'll have they'll produce much more than what they did and ship out a lot more than what they did for the previous consoles, just so that they don't have any of those problems in certain regions again. Uh, there's things about uh, one, oh, second last thing really, Unreal Engine 4. I've mentioned this quite a lot. Uh, I'll mention one other engine as well because I've just found news about that. Uh, Unreal Engine 4, uh, Epic have said that it does work on only the PC at the moment. They've said that they could get it to run on the Wii U, but they've said that it's unconfirmed for all consoles at the moment. Which means we might see it on the Wii U, we might not. We might see it on the PlayStation 4 and 720, we might not. Okay, so I'm just going to re-record the last, last few minutes of this video uh, because there was some noise outside and it was being picked up and it was really loud and really just cutting me out at a lot of times. So I'm just going to re-record these. You'll see it jumping between the two the sections during the editing, but the point will get across still. Okay, so yeah, back on to the Unreal Engine 4 topic. Uh, people have said that it won't be seen on the Wii U because of the low clock speed. Now, the Xbox 720 is supposedly having a CPU clocked at 1.6 GHz compared to the 1.24 GHz of the Wii U. Now, there's not much difference in that, so if you can't see it coming to the Wii U, you should really give up on seeing it on the Xbox 720 unless you want to state that clock speed isn't everything. Okay, so next is just about Crytek, Creators of Crisis. Uh, they've recently stated, well, recently to me, it's recently I've just seen it, is that they had Crisis 3 running on the Wii U at 720p 35 frames per second or 30 frames per second, I can't remember exactly which one it was and they said uh, the only reason that it was at 720, 30 or 35 was that the CPU was having to split the screen between well not split the screen but had to send the visuals towards the television and the gamepad at the same time they said that if they had the ability to turn the gamepad screen off which the development kit doesn't uh, they would have had it running a lot better, but this, they've also stated that with little effort and actually programming it specifically for the Wii U, they could have it running perfectly at 1080, 1080p and 60fps, which is a good thing. Okay, and next was uh, DirectX 11. Uh, I'm, I think I say that near the end but uh, I'll keep it here at the moment it means I don't need to come back and record that. Uh, there's been several developers stating that the Wii U will run or will support DirectX 11 features. Um, the Unity engine which uses DirectX 11 like features or DirectX 
11 features uh, is being used on the Wii U for quite a lot of its games because uh, Nintendo recently struck a deal with them. Uh, easiest way to describe the Unity engine is it's like a poor man's Unreal engine. It's not a, it's not really a bad thing that I'm saying about it. Is that uh, it offers you pretty much everything that the Unreal engine does. But if a developer wants to buy the right to use the Unreal engine, it's a lot cheaper than what the well, if they want to use buy the right to use the Unity engine, not the Unreal engine. It costs them a lot less to get the Unity engine than it does to get the Unreal engine. So that is going to work out pretty well. Okay, and to close, I would just like to say that even though there's people that do prefer to play on just one system and hate the others, or fanboys as we like to call them, um, just remember that the competition in any industry is what drives it forward. We need Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, and then when the Ouya and Steam when they release their Steam box, we need all of them to be able to push this industry forward. And I think when all five of these systems is finally released, we'll see a really big boom in the first party games because they'll all want to try and draw people towards their console and a boom in people buying up exclusives as well. Uh, it could be a really great time to be a gamer, much like when uh, the gaming first started when we had a lot of selections of what console could buy, uh, what console we could play. Uh, now it's just gone on to fanboyisms and people who say they're real gamers but they pref they just start pissing all over someone else's console. I've always seen gaming like science and religion. Uh, real gamers, people who play on all consoles and just love to game are more the science section. Uh, religion is but the fanboys because theirs is the only right one basically. Uh, I'm not trying to take a dig at anyone's religion here. I myself am an atheist but that's a different story. Religion I don't really take any um, anything to deal with it really uh, but for my analogy it's, it seems right uh, with science uh, you have your opinion and you have uh, all of the results and the evidence but as new evidence and new facts appear and more research is done your opinions change because that's how the evidence is showing it now and that's how a real gamer should be they should be seeing every console for what they can bring and then researching how these consoles can help develop and push forward for the industry whereas you get the fanboys and they're just like no we're just going to stay where we are we'll do this nothing else really matters to us that's my glass clunking against the other glass that's there uh, but that's my analogy for get for the gaming community where you have the real gamers and the fanboys. Um, but it's just one last thing. I know uh, the video that this is a response to uh, by uh, Dark Cloud. I think it was Dark Cloud. Um, Zaire, Hardy, and Broken Games. They they'll get a lot of abuse for the video that they made in you can't really give them any abuse because they're just stating their opinion on things. Everybody's opinion is going to differ on it and mine's included. Um, I've just stated my opinion on it uh, given the reasons why I think this is why my opinion is this as well. Uh, I'll leave some links to what I've been saying as well. Uh, I'll leave a link to the book video, video game optimization so people can see how it works and why it's needed and a link to things that developers have been saying about the Wii U as well uh, on the release date and what still needs to be done with it from a development standpoint uh, but from that um, I'll change up my ending today don't know why it's just something I want to do I just say have a nice day and keep it metal